they're celebrating 15 years. We're going to check out a demo in a bit, but first let's talk about the future of this sport in Jamaica with the managing director, Shin Nishida. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's and morning. Thank you for having me. 15 years. I mean, yes. did you imagine that it would be around for so long? No, I didn't actually. Yeah. When I, when I first came, I was a Japanese volunteer. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be going back to Japan after two years. <laughs> But I kind of ended up being here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about it. I mean, just, it, is it growing? Is it gymnastics growing? Yes, in yes. Well, talking about Nishida's gymnastics, mm -hmm. when we just started, we started with 15 kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just about starting, 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have four gyms, two gyms in Kingston, one in Mandeville and Maypin region. Wow. And then we have one in Montego Bay and we have 600, 700 kids enrolled uh, 600 right now. 600 to 700 kids? Yes. And we have more than 30 coaches working with me. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's going good. It's it's go it going got better. Extremely good. Tell me what happens when they come to the gym, Nishida. Um, we spoke about balance beams, but is it a typical gymnastics gym? Yes, artistic gymnastics, mm -hmm. where you can see it in the Olympic. Mm -hmm. You know, high bar for men, flow exercise, voting horse, balance beam, and even bars. Artistic gymnastics we do. Yeah. What yeah. age groups do we see coming? We start from one, as early as one, we call it Mami and Me program mm -hmm. at Ninja Kid Gymnastics. That is the second gym in Kingston. Right. And also we do up to adult. Mm -hmm. So it's really any age, as long as they're interested in. All right. You have two scholarship gymnasts with us today. Oh, yes, we, I do. T tell me about that program. Okay. Well, came from Japan. Yeah. Most one of the most developed country mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. I was uh, really shocked uh, the living surroundings that uh, less fortunate kids are living in Jamaica. Yes. So I decided I, you know, I wanted to do something. Yeah. So I mean, through gymnastics, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. So I gathered about 10 talented kids from different primary schools, which mostly coming from Grants Bay area. Yes. And we have trained so long and we won many times in the overseas competition. And then one of them actually went to the world champs in 2017. Yes. So it's an achievement, I would say. Yes. And then they are still working for their Olympic dream mm -hmm. and also a first medaling in any international competition. Yeah, yeah. And, and apart from the scholarships, you do a lot of work in communities. We do, we do. Mm -hmm. um, Right now, we have two locations that we provide in uh, the, the community program. Mm -hmm. One is in Max Street Park area. Yes. And one is also in Parade downtown Garden. Kingston Parade Garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a one day per week program where we don't charge. And we are hoping the kids to learn, you know, self discipline, confidence, never give up attitude yes. through our gymnastics program. Oh, wow. You have two gyms in Kingston one's at Shortwood Park, Shortwood Primary School. Yeah. And one's at Liberty Prep yes. on Hope Road. Yeah. And then in Mandeville and May Penn, you have gyms and also in Montego Bay. Yes. Um, if I'm a parent and I'm watching, what are some of the things? Because some children have a natural affinity to gymnastics. They're mm -hmm. naturally talented. What are some of the things I should look for that may say to me, my child needs to, <coughs> to do gymnastics? Okay. Well, in, in general, mm -hmm. I would say you don't have to look for talent at first. Yes, because Just I bring mean, them. <laughs> yes, we teach gymnastics not only to get them a good gymnast, yeah. really. Yeah. What I always tell my coaches is to teach, we are teaching discipline yes. and confidence to yeah. the kids through gymnastics. Uh, but if you're really looking at the talent of the athlete, athlete, yeah. then I would say it's pretty much similar to track and field. Yeah. Run. Mm -hmm. run fast and jump, that kind of fast muscles abilities. That's, uh, that's what that's I would say. That's pretty much what and you And of course, for. love to flipping, and tumble. splitting, jumping. <laughs> yeah, that's what the parents are supposed Fair to look at. Say. So what's the, the vision or future for gymnastics in Jamaica? Well, I would say, looking back from 2004, that's the year I came. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have made a big jump in we terms have. of the development of we the have. sports. Yeah. And of course, it's not only my effort, you know, effort from dedicated coaches in a different clubs, mm -hmm. and effort from the gymnastics association, and of course, parents and gymnasts. So I'm really looking at the bright future of these sports, and you know, the Olympic dream that everybody is seeing, Everybody's. it is going to come true yeah. in a few years time. This That's is what Jamaica, I if there's any country that knows how to live the Olympic dream, mm -hmm. that's us. I mean, so, good luck to the field. guys. Yes. Not just track and field, bobsled, oh, well, uh, yes. <laughs> cycling, Jamaica say Olympics. So why not gymnastics? Why not know? gymnastics? Here's Daniel and Shakoi. <laughs> Thank you. 
One, two, three. Oh. I'm so sorry.